Hello, my name is Ashley Ferguson and I'm part of Fuzzbusters. Today we're going to talk about our target market. Our main customers are going to be retail pet stores as well as people who own pets and who have a desirable need to spoil their pets. Our market size is quite large due to the multiple different types of pet stores. Our available market is 69% of households own dogs or cats in the United States. So we are going to be able to serve that 69% who are financially able to purchase a quality product. Within our product, we are going to have many different retailers that are going to help supply us. We are going to have plastic suppliers, electrical component suppliers, material suppliers, RF suppliers, hardware suppliers, and interface suppliers. They are going to support and create our project, a product, and then it will be sent out into our web our web retailers and our regular retailers. Our web retailers consist of Amazon.com, EntirelyPets.com, Petco.com, and our normal retailers are PetSmart, Costco, and Walmart. So our sales cycle is going to start with the suppliers, come into our business so we can create them, send it off to the retailers who will then be purchased from customers. Hi, I'm Fawaz. I'm gonna follow on what Ashley was saying. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna talk about the marketing elements. First of all, including the positioning statement. While caring for your pet, sometimes it becomes a disturbance to your daily routine, and our product will eliminate the dirt and and germ from your pet, allowing your pet to stay cleaner in an energy efficient way. I'm gonna talk about how we're gonna reach customers and the way we're gonna introduce our product to the customers and aware them about the product we're doing through a fully functional website and magazine advertising and billboard marketing we will be able to reach our customers in a wide range first of all utilizing our alliances through PetSmart will also be able to grasp more customer interest so basically offering our product to PetSmart and customers are able to look into our product and see it in real life other than just read, read uh, reading about it or looking at it in the inter internet uh, and then we're also going to create Facebook and Twitter accounts and that will create a wider market opportunity through networks talking about Facebook talking about Facebook uh, Facebook is worldwide known and by using it it will reach a greater market and a bigger market than than the 69 percent of US citizens and will target worldwide customers and Facebook is becoming more like a business demand because of its growing popularity uh, we will be able to reach a wider market in such a short a time span. Not only we can create accounts, we can create pages on Facebook to uh, to reach customers and explain our products to potential customers. And and we know that Facebook is really important. And talking about website retailers, we will have specific ad advertisements that will attract pet owners to our product. These web retailers will be an essential marketing technique and way for us to reach a wider cap capacity. Once we reach a certain capacity of customers, we can move into a greater market advertisement by creating television commercials. Talking about the product, uh, we're gonna let, uh, let the choice for the customer to choose whether to uh, buy the product and put it together, like without the use of the company or the help of handymen or we can send people with uh, with experience to install upon request and set the dog door up for the customers. I would like to thank you for taking your time and listening to our marketing segment. Thank you very much.